It's been a while since we played an OTK deck. Unfortunately, Blizzard didn't introduce much new option for killing your opponents from 30 health. So we gotta go back to the classic Holy Wrath Paladin. Except this time, we're running Sathrovar, which gives us three extra copies of Shavala, which is great. And Nazdormu, who gives us 10 mana instantly because we're a control deck and we love mana. So let's bring it back. The One Punch Man deck. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Oh no! The warrior. We're against so much armor right now. A little scary, but... Let's hope for the best. Harrison Jones not bad. Even if I just hit a Ritual Chopper, it's still just free cards for me. Coin the Acolyte, but if he goes Ritual Chopper, then he just gets a free trade. And I kind of waste the coin, so... I'm gonna play a little slow. Totally fine, totally fine. Let the pain speak to me. This is where he invokes for 3 damage. Yeah, Galakron is getting nerfed, uh, I believe the news is coming out this week about the specific nerfs. But apparently all four Galakron decks, well I'm not counting Freeze, because Freeze Galakron's a joke, um, are out of line, according to Blizzard. So they're going to be fixing all Galakron decks. And they're looking at Death Rite of Rogue and Fire Warrior. I think that makes a lot of sense. The expansion's been out, what, less than a month? And good on Blizzard to recognize that the meta's a little Galakron. It's, it's a Galakron world, essentially. Like, play Galakron or get out. I'm gonna do this. I can always Harrison Jones' Galakron weapon, which is worth 5 damage. Pretty significant. I wonder if I should hit that. Probably not. Doesn't seem worth it. A okay. Unity. Precision. I'm gonna regret not hitting this. Maybe I didn't need to hit it, but that one damage might be adding up after a while. I was trying to save a value, but didn't get it. Not a big deal, though. Prismatic Lens is very helpful to refresh my hand a little bit. What now? Scion of Ruin. 3 mana, 9 6. My lord, is that legal? Oh, wait, he's just gonna do it again next turn. Having a lot of mana seems great. It seems like this can only end well if I have a whole bunch of mana. Hello! Come on, what's the worst possible punishment? <laughs> I like this combo. Dragon Breed into Sion Ruin. It's very cute. Play that 3 mana 9 6. I got 2 Consecration, which. Has an easy time dealing with it. He can kill my Nars Domo with the 3 mana 9 6, but it's fine. Oh, well, imagine if he plays that and then play Barista Lin Chan to get all of this back. Woo! Okay, doesn't matter. Who plays with the Consecration? I don't like, I don't love this play. Uh, 2 mana Crystallogy, that's fine. Wait. God damn, my hand's full again. Mm. Mm. Oh, if I keep. Man. That's throwing the point in. I'll mill one card, and I'm okay with milling pretty much everything except my one Holy Wrath. That's a 1 in 13 chance to mill the Holy Wrath here. I will act as your 1 in 13 is pretty low odds, let me tell ya. He's at 37 health. The problem is when he gets to 50 health. Ah, nice though, no lie. I hope you 
like my invention. We have a vengeance. The light bends to the I could play cards, I also put overdraw. I pretty much have all my combo cards in hand, and the remaining cards I have are mostly draw, right? Draw, 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 draw. Stall, stall, draw. Combo, stall. So, if we hit one card draw, it can kind of snowball. Especially Crystology. Crystology will allow us to snowball a hand out. So, and Prismatic Land will do pretty well too, because it guarantees a minion. And my minions are card draws. That's fine. Ooh, look at that four point of healing. Well, it's more than four point because it blocks six damage. So this is actually just healing for ten. Crazy. I would just shrink ray this. I got spend cards. Okay, now we don't mind milling because that's the entire combo. He's at forty-one health. He needs nine health to get out of range. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna try and empty my deck soon. Hopefully I mill something not so good. 41 health. If he plays Galakron, he can get there. If he plays Galakron, I can at least... Ah, fudge. I'm a game. He'd be at 41 health exactly. I hope you like my invention. Oh, that's such a bad draw. He's at 41 health, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13. Hello? And I would actually Hello? die if I don't play time Hello? over. So he'll hero power, I'm sure. And then play Galakron. He's not playing Galakron, huh? 46 now. <laughs> eh, doesn't matter. Still get Harrison Jones value, at least. Me and Mr. Jones. Me. He can't attack me, so this weapon is guaranteed to work. That belongs in a museum. So. We'll send the Consecration out. He needs 10 damage to kill me, and I'd be really surprised if he has 10 damage. Galakron will give him 5 damage, but that's it. I'll play the Consecration anyway. So had I gone for the draw, I could play my combo next turn. Can I still play it? I technically still can, right? If I use Flash of Light instead of a timeout. And probably don't have to use timeout, because Shivala will heal me. I guess the problem is if he gets some big old minions off his uh, Galakron. Cheap big minions, like Eternium Rover. Yeah, he got the Eternium Rover. Shit. Double time and double pay. Interesting. He's not rushing his Eternium Rover. He's trying to smork me down. I don't know if that's going to work out for you. Two mana, five mana, seven mana, eleven mana. Let me play Flash of Light here. Flash of Light. It's time to test your mettle. Let's dash that away. I smack you in the face of 25. I trade this in. Slow. I trade this off. Hello, hello. You can't hurt me anymore. It's not gonna hurt me, right? I'm not fatiguing myself doesn't seem like the best idea either. But it does mean I get to save time out for something later. He plays Galakrond. He gain more armor, right? Should have killed this off instead. He doesn't get two rounds of armor. He can still Zilliax, huh? 
But if he Zilliacs, he doesn't gain the armor from this. He does get the heal, but then he always gets the heal after Zilliacs. I am unbreakable. I am unstoppable. He's at 21. He needs 4 armor. I guess if he hero powered and played this, he would still be within lethal range. If he had upgraded this twice, it would have been 8 damage. 10, 12. Oh, he would still be significantly off. This will break your oh my god, enough with the armor game! This is 26. This is actually 1 damage out of my lethal range here. If I didn't have minions. Well played, sir. You played Galakrond, and you died. Truly the stuff of legend. It's smorking time. Okay, what are some good anti smork cards? Crystal Smith Kangor is probably the best one. It's re it represents so much healing just by himself. Because first they have to kill it to break the shield, and then they have to kill it without touching it. Because if they, they touch it, it's more healing. Truly the stuff of gods. Hey, nice fruit. We can probably hold on to this for a while. Unless I want to play it early. Face Stalker would be the, the most Nothing annoying. But a bunch of big oh, that's really annoying. There's no way this. Eh, I should try and draw my heals. I thought about playing Baleful Banker for better tempo, but drawing heals is also pretty important. This is so annoying. This is a solution to Crystal Smith Kangor. You're gonna coin hero power? Oh, ho, ho. wow, you're nuts. <laughs> Truly a small hunter. Mm, I can smart here? Okay. I'm surprised he's not trading this off because my one one kills his toxic reinforcement. This is a great combo though. Two mana heal for eight. And draw a card. You're gonna give me more card draw. Are you okay, look, I mean he's just doing what he was born to do as Hunter. Can't fault him for that. He was put on this earth to do one thing. That's the smork. And he didn't increase his progress. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? I don't want to play this in the hero power because Unleash the Helm is kind of oh, good. Sure. Sure. I need to try and make sure my uh, healing sticks on the board for a while. Going pure smork against control power. Yeah, this guy's brave, man. He's and I like that about him. Wow, he's not even gonna let me pop the secret for an extra charge. He's like, go P punch him in the face. Explosive. I shall overdraw. I want to do it now before he has any on the board, so this is really annoying for him to remove. I mean, even that is... How is he going to deal with the 2 health now, right? Extremely annoying. He needs second dwarf sharpshooter and shooting it. If he doesn't, then my crystal smith can't go second dwarf. the timeless. I mean, it's okay if he gains mana, right? He can't do much with mana, while well, we can do a lot with mana here. In time, all the That's fine. counteracts the hero. Uh, get another Crystal Smith Kangor. We know, we know he's not gonna trade. That's for sure. Alright, buddy, you have all the mana in the world. What do you do? What does a hunter do with 10 mana? Okay, face docker, I like it. What else you got? Come on. <sighs> Could be freezing, explosive, and rat trap. Life drinker, I like it. Okay, we got some kill commands in there. This is a twin shot. No, 
know that much. We can also play a uh, timeout and then pop this and save ourselves two health. I just think it's honestly fine for timeout usage. We should do this first, right? Hey, <laughs> doesn't even get the explosive damage. Now is the time. Okay, even if it's rat trap, I'm immune, so it doesn't do anything. This is useless, but it does um, allow me to reduce my Shibala cost by one. I hope you like my invention. Well done. Toxic reinforcements. Okay, it's snake trap. No, 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 that's meant for face, buddy. Oh no, the face hunter is confused. He can't target face, so he's trying to target novice engineer. <laughs> she has a face? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is just out of anger now. Honestly, you could have killed me. Maybe. Actually, no. One kill command, one kill command, top deck, a stone touch boar, hero power. Yeah, no, there is a world where he could have killed me. It's not any world I live on. Can we get the one shot lethal here? Hello. Yeah. Can we get the one shot lethal here? <laughs> ah, never looked. Now is the time. Wait! The game told me I tested for misdirection! No! Game, you lied to me! My deck tracker said we tested for misdirection! What? Okay, this is why you don't use a deck tracker. It graded out. I'm like, oh, it doesn't have this direction. <laughs> listen. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Look. Look. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello. I'm gonna test a second misdirection here. It is fine. Cause I'll still get lethal. Cause I can run now this in and hammer up wrath in this place. The reason why the misdirection got grayed out is because if, when I'm immune, misdirection actually doesn't trigger. Which is kinda weird. But that's how it works. And it confused the deck tracker. It confused me. Oh lord. Oh god. That's rather rogue. How fun. You must be very proud. That's rather rogue. Shrink ray? No, you just want card draw, right? You want to draw through your entire deck ASAP. Ooh, this is card draw. This is card draw city. I know this list runs Don't Touch Spore, which is extra annoying because you just. It's much harder to predict burst damage from the hand. Like, does he have Leroy? Does he have Leroy and Stone Touch 4? Is he Galakron? Is he Highlander? Does he run Eviscerate? Okay. Very aggressive. I like it. Get coin out the Acolyte here. Make him use a backstab. Even if he uses a backstab, it's not exactly value. But I still get a draw. It just kind of messes up my curve a little bit. If he wants to eviscerate it, it's okay too. Blood and plunder. That's fine. That's why we got two of them. Let the pain speak to me. Although the only thing is my consecration is gonna kill this one before I can get a value trade going. Pirate Rogue. I like the creativity. If this guy hit Shavala, I think I can win. It's a uh, one in one. Sucks not getting um, value, but we gotta do it. <sighs> we gotta do it. That really sucks making my acolyte trade like that, but eh, what are you gonna do? Blood and Seriously, just playing three mana. Things. 
seem very good. I got my uh, Kangor with a flash of light though, that makes me pretty happy. Yep, just keep stabbing me in the face. Wow, Eviscerate? Ooh, Mr. Joe Cones. This saves me 8 health, which is a very significant amount. But what if he has Leroy... What if he has Leroy shenanigans, right? Leroy Eviscerate. Oh, that would make me very sad. The safe thing to do would be... As much as I hate to do it, and not... Harrison Jones, such a juicy target. I know, it pains me too, chat. It pains me too. To give up such a her juicy Harrison, but I don't want that at Leroy Eviscerate. He actually got Myros and Stable Element, are you kidding me? With the prep, that's his last card, after playing two backstabs. For killing my Kangor smoothly. I'm out of cards. Wow. Sometimes I can't believe my luck. Huh. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, no, good. seems about right. This guy's so sorry. So unlucky. Use one eviscerate and both deckhand. I play Zilliax and trade in. But if he has Leroy, can Leroy punch Leroy? Unity, precision, cruelty. Use double backstab. Something that does not wait to deal with this. I have two shots off a uh, good Shivala. I can also just get a timeout. Oh, I like that though. Uh, we can turn all these into 1-1, one, one, which I think is just nice. I hope you like my invention. Yeah, 6, 10 damage, 12 to kill me. And you use the shadow step, but I guess it is within reason. Okay. Three trades. Yeah, you can at least though if he has Leroy, right? No, actually, if he trades, no, no, no yeah, he's not. no way. Is my math off? Leroy would be too off, actually. Why do I think he would have lethal? I have two timeouts and the Shivala, which is just nice here because of all the healing she's gonna give me. But I can play cards for free. I get a timeout. That's always good. Timeout is great. Great, great, great. I hope you like my invention. And great is great. Great, great, great. Oh, if you're sure. What a explosive Myra's unstable element turn this guy had. Like hot diarrhea. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I gotta say, you worked really hard to get my health total down to such a low amount. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to undo all your hard work here, right? I could shrink ray. No, I don't even have to shrink no? ray. I can. No, the safe thing would be to heal for 21. It's time I believe that's the best line of play. Go for 21. It's time to test your metal. It's time to test your metal. Too slow, too slow, too slow. It's not like a full heal like a Reno Jackson only gets me to 29 plus 30. Still not bad though. Still? Not bad at all. I like the Nomi tech. The deck is simple. You play my Unstable Element on 6 with an empty hand with a prep to go with it. Then you play Chef Nomi on 7 for an entire board of 
uh, six six, and then you win. Right? It sounds great on paper. So what was his last card? Ah, An SI seven eight. GG. He had the perfect draw, but our deck is really good against Aggro. Ooh, I really wanted to Harrison Jones that uh, whack toggle pick, but I had to be a little patient. Well played. Hey, lights out.